have to harness your employees' attributes. Every good business does it. Every business that's successful takes the right person in the right job and creates a strong business from it. That's what we did. Most car washes, I don't think the employees really care about the job. I think they're there because that's the only job they can get. My people are there and they care about it. I have guys that come in on their day off. I have guys that come in early. And if you ask them, Tyler, what are you doing here an hour early? You know what his answer is going to be? It's going to be, well, in case they need me, I'm here. We own a car wash and 85% of our staff is within this autism spectrum. <laughs> so tell me, tell me about work today, Andrew. How many well, cars do you think you did? Like 30 cars. Andrew was diagnosed at two and a half and it was a very hard time. When your child is diagnosed with autism, the first level is confusion. What is autism? What does that mean? Is this why he has certain attributes? The first thing that happens is you get this confusion, oh, it can't be mine, this can't be happening. The next level is he's going to grow out of it. The next level is you start to look for that special cure or miracle. As it moves forward and as Andrew grows up, I started to realize that Andrew is who Andrew is. And I started to look at Andrew not as a 15-year-old, I looked at him as a 40-year-old and that really started to change my whole thought pattern. He's not going to be independent unless I can help him to be so. You're not done. There's still more chicken in it. I want him to have more of that. Push yourself. I can't have this. I'm going to have to come up with other solutions. So the first idea was, well, what can Andrew do? So I started to look at some businesses, and one day I'm sitting at a car wash, and I'm waiting for my car, watching this zoo, disorganized array of nonsense, where one car is moving, one car is not, three guys on this car, one guy on that car. But I'm thinking to myself, Andrew can do this back-end process without a doubt. People started talking about these two guys that had come to town, New Yorkers, who were talking to everyone in town, really, about an idea they had to create a business. Thank you. The majority of their employees would be autistic, and they were talking about it being a car wash business. Make sure he's getting all the way around, okay? I think what people have to understand is when you are someone who takes care of people with autism, you are pitched every idea under the sun. So I was very curious to really check them out. Nationally, we have a real crisis. About 80 to 90 percent of young adults with autism are either unemployed or underemployed. They came, we had a meeting, we connected and clicked right away. John, the dad, is this, you know, bundle of passion. I knew that their heart was in the right place. I knew that their passion was real. I knew that they were going to make a commitment to our South Florida community. We're now washing 17,000 cars a month, and we simply wouldn't be doing that if this was about charity. A lot of people in the spectrum embrace structure. We use color coding. We use visual aids. We use a consistent work environment and a structured work environment. The reason there's such high unemployment among people with autism is the fact that we look at autism as a disability that requires sympathy instead of a really valuable diversity. Our employees with autism are the majority. They're the quote-unquote normal employees. What do you say? Thanks. My guys make money. They make tips. Now they're bringing home a check to a family who really needs it. Whereas before they were a burden. Now they're a wage earner. Our employees aren't just employees, they're part of the family. They're hanging out after work, they're coming on their days off. I started here in 2015, and what I like about Rising Tide is that they help me how to stay professional, how to talk to customers. I have friends here now that care about me, that care about reaching my goals, like Nick over there, he's smiling, that's right. <laughs> and I met a friend here named Tyre Laley, Terrell, my friend Wesley, and all the people that worked in Rise of Tide. Actions speak louder than words. You let your actions show that you want the job. I was just surprised that I can't believe I have a, I have a job now at Rise of Tide. That sets us apart. That's why our numbers are as high as they are. And that's why we're able to expand to wash number two. How's it going out there today, man? It's busy. It's busy? 
-hmm. What do you think about that? Very great. I don't feel the same pressure that I once felt where, well, when my parents are gone, Andrew's going to be living in my basement. Why is it great? I get a lot of money on, on the job. Now I feel like, well, Andrew's got a life and he's got his own group and his own tribe and his own future. This is my destiny. I found who I am in him. I never expected how important what we were doing was beyond us. Beyond our little car wash. Beyond taking care of Andrew and those like him. I never realized that it would have so much power to create hope, so much information to create change.